I'm Shamin from Science in Singapore and welcome to the next episode of Science What! Today, I'll be talking about xenophobia, the fear of the unknown. <laughs> Our brain is constantly evolving and forming new neural connections as we learn and experience new things. With these connections, the experiences become familiar to us as memories and the memories are then stored in the hippocampus of the brain. No, not a hippo in the brain, <laughs> but this hippocampus. The fear response starts in the amygdala. If the hippocampus recognises the stimuli, the fear response is dampened in the amygdala. With the unknown, however, the hippocampus has no memories or experiences to refer and interpret the stimuli because we have no idea what is there. So we cannot understand what is going to happen and the fear response is still triggered in the amygdala. Xenophobia arises when you're unable to fight your insecurities and you have a constant fear of the unknown. <laughs> now let's find out how our special guest for today deals with her fear of the unknown. Ta-da! <laughs> Not you! Let's welcome our special guest for today, Sakina! Hello! <laughs> Hi Sakina! Hi Sharin! How are you feeling today? I'm okay, I'm good. Thank yeah. you for joining us. So today we have a couple of fear boxes for you and you have to guess what's inside only using your sense of touch. Okay. So we're going to test your fear of the unknown. I'm not scared. You're not scared? I'll be okay. Very brave! <laughs> Okay, Sakina, here's your first fear box. You ready? Mm -hmm. So just put your hand inside. Water. Water? No, 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 water. no it's slimy. <laughs> Wait, jelly? Jelly. No, not jelly. jelly. But it's close. It's almost like a jelly. What is it? jelly? Grass jelly. No, not grass jelly. I'm just worried if it's something gross. <laughs> Would you like to see what it is? Yeah. <laughs> well, you have... Ugh. Raw eggs! <laughs> Let's do this! It might rustle. Oh, wait, it's moving. <laughs> wait, it could be moving. It moves pretty far. Wait. It's a toilet brush. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's a toilet brush! <laughs> okay, the other fear box is ready. This might hurt too. <laughs> it's a soft toy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a pretty unicorn! It's all about inside the ball. It's slimy again. Um, slime? Well, it's almost like slime, but you can actually use this to make really delicious pancakes. <gasps> you have mashed bananas. Oh, my favorite. So, Sakina, how did you feel during this experience? Honestly, it was a bit frightening because I couldn't see, so I had to rely on my touch and also like, the sounds. The sounds, yeah. And then when things were moving about, I, I got a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> Have you conquered the fear of the unknown? I think so. Thank you, Sakina, for joining us today. No Thank you. In most cases of fearing unknown objects, we find ways to accept it and cope with it. In Sakina's case, with lots of humor. How well do you cope with xenophobia? And that's how you make science come alive. Thank you for watching our video today. If you enjoyed it, please like and share with all your family and friends. And don't forget to click on the bell icon down below to be the first to watch our new videos. Bye!